Hi, this is Anagha Mudgal. Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we will explore the new and improved event clip gain in Cubase and New Ender 14 and see how they can help us quickly and precisely match levels, especially for dialogues, interviews and voiceovers. So let's take a look at the new event gain tool. In one of our previous episodes, we covered the basics of clip gain and gain staging and how to apply them in real world projects. The link to that episode is in the description box below. Since the release of Nuendo 14, there has been a fundamental change in how we can achieve more consistent and balanced audio levels before any processing is applied. So let's dive right into it. Here we have a documentary that's around 18 minutes long. It features different interviews. So for demonstration purpose, I've placed all the interviews on one track. And though they were recorded with the same lapel mic, you can see the differences in the volume. So by adjusting the volume of individual events, you can set the audio to sit at a fairly consistent and manageable level. These adjustments are pre-insert, meaning they happen before any processing is applied. The key advantage of event volume control is that this allows you to make quick adjustments to match the gain of different sources. It's a feature that has been long requested and it's finally here. And let's quickly balance these levels. Simply click on the small icon next to the waveform and drag the fader up or down. And we can see that the interview levels are still below the voiceover that was recorded. So I'll select them all and raise them. Let's play it back. As you can see here, it is hitting the perfect level that we want, roughly around minus 10 dB. And now we have reached a more optimal level, a good starting point. Now let's go over the event volume control in more detail. If you need finer control, hold down the shift key on your keyboard while adjusting the fader and you'll get more precise changes. To reset the volume adjustment, simply hold the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and click the control icon. And this will reset the volume to its original level. We can also add a tool modifier for event volume control. To do that, simply go to Nuendo, Settings, and in the editing tool modifiers, select tool and in the edit velocity, we're going to assign a shortcut. I'm going to assign this shift. Press and hold on to shift and click assign. Let's click OK. And now as I hold on to shift on the keyboard, you can see that this icon appears. And as we drag up and down, we can see by the waveform that the volume is being adjusted. A third way to make the event volume adjustment is to go back to the settings tab, audio, and enable use mouse wheel for event volumes and fades. So as I move the mouse wheel, you can see that the volume is being adjusted. And you can also assign a key command for activating or deactivating this. Now, if we want to particularly work on a specific event and balance out the peaks and the waveforms, let's use the range tool. All you have to do is click and drag on the upper half of the event and we get this diamond icon and let's drag this up and make our adjustments. And as we make our range volume adjustments, you can see that the white line appears, which is the event volume curve line, which I've currently set on always show. We can also add a shortcut to quickly make volume adjustments to the selected range. Go to edit key commands and let's type volume. And here we have increment event volume and decrement event volume. Let's assign the equal to as increment and the minus as decrement. And we can make quick adjustments in the selected range using the keyboard shortcuts. Now let's come to one of the most unique addition to the range tool, which is the audio segment detection. In the tool modifiers, under range tool, we're going to assign a modifier for audio segment editing. Now, as you can see, the command and the option tools are already in use. So let's also assign this as shift and hold on to shift, click on assign and press OK. Now, as I hover on the top part of your of the event and hold on to shift, you see this new diamond, this new green colored diamond. Now, just want to point out, since we are using these tools as a pair, as I hover over the lower part of the event and hold shift, it allows us to adjust the volume of the entire event. And if I hover over the upper part of the event and hold shift, it helps us to detect the audio segments. And we can quickly adjust the volume of an automatically detected audio segment by using this tool. 
All you have to do is click and it is going to automatically select the range and then we can adjust the volume of that specific segment. Holding down to shift and dragging the range tool will snap and select the range over our desired audio segments. As always, we can also use the draw tool to make finer adjustments. All we have to do is click on the line to create a point and drag it. We can add additional curve points and busier curves for precise adjustments and smooth transition between points. You can also hold on to command on the Mac and control on Windows to draw a curve by creating multiple curve points. And at the same time, select all of them. And we also have some very specific new controls. We can also edit these points using the smart controls. If you click on the middle, this will scale the curve vertically. And holding on to this icon will move the whole curve vertically. If you click on the upper right corner, you can tilt the right part of the curve. And similarly, on the left, we can tilt the left part of the curve. If you click on the lower border, this icon will stretch the curve horizontally. And this, this will scale the curve around absolute center. And apart from that, there are additional options. If you hold on to option key on Mac and Alt on Windows and click on the right corner, you can see that the icon has changed. And this will help you compress or expand the right part of the curve. Similarly, the same can be done on the left side. And if you do the same, holding down Option on the Mac and Alt on Windows and click on the center right, this icon, you can see that the icon has changed and this will scale the curve relative to the center. As opposed to scaling it around absolute center, this is going to scale it relative to the center. You can select and move the points and you can duplicate these points by simply holding on to the option key and shifting it around. And if you want it to move or duplicate snapped horizontally or vertically, just hold on to command as you do it or control in windows on your keyboard. To remove a single point, you can hold on to the option key and click on the point. We can simply drag and select it and press delete. And we can simply reset the event volume curve or a selected range by simply right clicking and selecting remove volume curve or going to audio remove volume curve and that's just one of the many ways to balance the event volume in Nuendo 14. So if you have a vocal recording that fluctuates between too quiet and too loud instead of constantly riding the fader throughout the mix you can use these tools to smooth out these inconsistencies. This gives you a cleaner starting point and helps ensure that your final mix sounds polished and professional. And also the key advantage of this is these adjustments occur before any processing, which ensures that all your audio elements have consistent levels, which sets you up for a smoother mixing process. So that's all for this episode. For now, bye, take care and see you next time.